Yo, what's good YouTube? This is Dominique coming back at you guys for another video. So basically, if you guys don't know who I am, what I do, or you know, why I'm even shooting videos, um, I am a recent OCS grad and I vlog and I talk about my experiences through the army and like everything I go through and, um, and topics that um, viewers of my channel want me to make videos about. So today I'm going to talk about how to mentally prepare for Army Basic. Now, uh, you guys may be thinking, well, mentally prepared for Army Basic? How mentally prepared could you be? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through a couple different things. I think it's like eight or nine things that I wrote down. Um, and I think that would be beneficial to know uh, before going in to uh, Basic. So um, I'm going to get started with the first thing being yelling. Uh, I didn't expect there to be any yelling when I went. I wasn't expecting it. I didn't know. And just because I was mal or misinformed, um, the videos I saw really had no yelling in them. So I was, mm, had to get used to it. Didn't really get used to it till after Red Phase, which is about the first three or four weeks of uh, basic. But after I got used to it, I was pretty good with it. Um, next thing being PT, uh, physical training or PT, whichever you want to call it, is something that you have to get used to in the army. You have to get used to having to work out every single day, um, Monday through Friday, and occasionally on Saturdays during basic. So, um, getting used to that is going to be very beneficial. So, if you were to do, uh, if you were to get up for the first 30 days before you leave, or the last 30 days before you leave, and go and work out, uh, that would be really helpful to you, just to get in the routine of working out. Um, daily duties is another thing I would uh, try and do. Having a list of chores or tasks to get accomplished or to do um, for the last 30 days before you leave for basic is going to help a lot with just the routine and understanding what's gonna happen and what's going on while you're there. Um, next thing would be waking up in the morning. So what I would do is I would probably get up maybe 30, the last, so again, the last 30 days before the last 15 days before you leave, get up, I would say at about 530 and be outside by about 5.45, and this would be a perfect time to go in PT in the morning. Just to get in the routine or the schedule of waking up, um, going to work out, and just getting your body adjusted to what it's gonna have to do. Getting up for like school, um, in high school and college, I really never had to get up that early. Um, earliest I had to get up was like 7.30, and now it's pretty late for me now. So, it's just another idea. Um, fire guard. Fire guard is something that um, I wish I had known about before I left, and that's um, basically uh, you have to get up in the middle of the night and count weapons, count people, just basically make sure that everybody is there and accounted for and everybody's sleeping and not off gallivanting in the other gender's dorms. So. Um, this is actually, the next thing I'm about to say is probably the most important thing I feel like uh, to mentally get you prepared for basic. And this is, y'all Y'all might not think this is big, but let me tell y'all something. This is called the Battle Buddy System. Now, this Battle Buddy System is like, it's meant to keep you safe. It's, this is the thing I had the most trouble on because I'm such an independent person. I feel like... I don't want people or anything around me a lot of times. I'm pretty much to myself. So um, this rule is where you have to have somebody come with you everywhere you go and just be with you. Y'all might not think that's tough, but you're going to go to basic. You're going to go to AIT or you're going to go to OCS and you're going to have to have somebody with you everywhere you go. So I'm just going to leave that there and let you guys think about that. And that's, this by far was the hardest thing. Not yelling, the battle buddy system was the hardest thing for me to grasp. Um, next thing is hit times. Um, holding yourself accountable to that 520 or 535 time uh, 
for the last 30 days before you leave is going to be extremely important. And then being places on time in the right uniform is another thing that's going to um, help you out a lot. Um, last thing I would say is go for a camping trip. I had never slept outside a day in my life before I joined the Army. So um, maybe go for a camping trip one day and sleep outside and know what it's like in the wilderness and realize it's not that bad. They're just some bugs. So, um, But if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you guys can hit me up on Snapchat or Instagram. Uh, Snapchat's clap95, Instagram is kidthunder2. Uh, that is the quickest way to get in touch with me or ask me questions or just talk or something. You're bored, hit me up, like, talking. Nah, I'm just playing. Don't do that. But people do that anyway. Um, I don't really talk to, I don't, don't really talk on the phone with people anymore um, because it gets a little outlandish. And then uh, email me if you guys have another question. So um, without further ado, my name is Dominique, a.k.a. Mr. Kid Thunder 2, and I'm out, guys. Peace.